All right, hey guys, this is Jason Fitzgerald with Strength Running, and this is another episode of Q&A with Coach with my buddy Scott Jones. He's the race director of the Rocky Mountain Trail Camp. Yes. And that's where we, we are today. And we're talking about rolled ankles, and I couldn't think of a better place to talk about rolling your ankle and how to treat it and prevent it than at a trail camp. It's gonna happen, it's a good call. Yeah, absolutely, roots, rocks, fast descents, it's gonna happen. Yeah, there's a lot out there on the trails that uh, could lead to a rolled ankle. So let's first talk about prevention. How do you prevent a rolled ankle? Um, you wanna start on this one? Because there, there's, there's a lot of ways that you can do this and I think there's a lot of ways that you could tackle answering this question. Um, and I know that you have um, strength and conditioning backgrounds and I think that's gonna uh, play a, a prominent role here. Yeah, I mean, just I guess we can get as specific as possible. Um, for trail runners, the stimulus that you want to train to prevent uh, ankle injuries, well, first of all, not all ankle injuries are preventable. Like, you're, you're gonna hit uh, a root that's underneath some leaves every once in a while when you're bombing. Uh, that would be, that would, that would definitely file under something that's not preventable. So some things just are gonna happen. But generally, if, if you feel like every time you step on any kind of pebble, you're just getting this instability or you're getting that, you're getting that quick um, inverted ankle sprain that, that's so popular with trail runners, um, there are some things that we can do to tighten up and, and make sure that our proprioception is better at, con at, at the point of contact during our runs and that we're stronger through our ankle, um, all the muscles in our lower legs so that we're actually reacting to, to this stimulus when we're out there on trails. Um, as far as specific exercises, is that something? That yeah, I mean, let's, let's go through it. I think, um, I mean, general, in general, I think general strength training is going to be helpful. Stronger runners are going to be less susceptible to injuries of all kinds. Right. Um, <laughs> But when it comes to uh, when it comes to actual <coughs> rolled ankles, uh, I think doing barefoot balance and stability work is really critical for runners. Yeah. Um, so things like we were doing earlier, you know, uh, barefoot balance drills, really great for proprioception, really great for building that ankle stability, um, and then also spending time barefoot. You know, having your foot be in a neutral, natural position so that you're not. Uh, you know, constantly in a restrictive shoe, constantly in a higher heel, that's gonna result in lower mobility. You know, you're not gonna be able to move your ankle as dynamically as you could than someone who, you know, hasn't worn shoes for the first 10 years of their life. Um, you know, you don't really hear of rolled ankles with, uh, you know, populations that don't wear shoes because uh, they, they, they are such strong ankles. Yeah, and pay, pay attention to the imbalances too. If you get out and you're doing a barefoot single, single leg calf race where you're just getting up on your toes on one leg and, and there's an obvious difference in how high you can get on one side versus the other. Paying attention to those imbalances is going to force you to go do the work that's needed to make sure that both sides are, are strengthened. Um, I know for me, I played a lot of basketball in, in my day, a lot of uh, team sports, football, baseball. Sports that turn your ankles are pretty popular, <laughs> pretty normal, I would say. Um, and what, what I found over the years is that one side was always taking the brunt. Like my right ankle is, I had a sprain five months ago. It's typically my right ankle. And working to get that one caught up is, yeah. is huge. And once you sprain it, it's gonna be more likely to be sprained again. Right, yeah, uh, so crazy. It's, so yeah, this is an injury that I'm very bullish on prevention for because once you start spraining an ankle, particularly if it's the same ankle over and over again, then you're just kind of going down this road where this might turn into a chronic issue. Um, another really specific thing that I think can help with uh, not just preventing a rolled ankle, but building general ankle strength and mobility is running a little bit barefoot. You know, doing some barefoot strides once or twice a week. Doing a couple minutes of barefoot running after an easy run once or twice a week. You don't have to do a lot of barefoot running. You know, I compare it to Elmer's glue, a dab will do you. You don't have to do a lot. Particularly if you're doing a lot of um, volume or uh, hard workouts, challenging long runs, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of barefoot running because you're just tired and your body's dealing with a lot of stress. So just remember, it's like Elmer's, a little dab will do you. You'll get the, the strength gains that you're really looking for without you know putting yourself at a, an additional yeah. injury risk. Yeah, I think the point of doing that after a long or a hard effort um, while you're A, already warmed up, but B, we've already, we, we talked about this during the camp a lot, we've already used our big muscles. We wanna make sure that the stabilizers, while they're fatigued, can grow and strengthen as well, which is huge. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about treatment. So, mm. you recently sprained your ankle. 
what do you do? And even if it's not as bad of a sprain, right. let's just say you rolled it and you don't have to go to the doctors, you didn't actually sprain anything, right. but what can you do for something like that? I mean, let's just assume there's an inflammation, inflammatory response. Uh, this has been beat to death by most, most coaches and trainers, but everybody knows the right principles we talked about earlier. Uh, rest, mm -hmm. ice, compression, elevation. That's off of a acute injury. So you go out today, you sprain that sucker, there's an obvious inf inflammatory response, put some ice on it, get it up above, above your hips, above your heart, as, as high as you can get, um, so that the blood can come down away from the injury, and uh, ice for 10, 15 minutes, every hour or so, for a few hours. Um, compression, put an ACE bandage on it, elevation for, for a day or two until a lot of that inflammatory response leaves. And then it's all about mobility. We want to start moving the ankle as soon as we can. This is assuming that you're not going to a PT. Um, me and Jason are not PTs um, by any, any means. But as soon as the pain response is gone, as soon as it's not hurting to, to walk and do some basic stuff, the name of the game at that point is mobility because we want to eliminate the possibility of, of major scar tissue at the joint and we want to make sure that the blood flow is, um, is still maintained at the ankle joint uh, for long-term health. I'm glad you brought that up because mobility I think is something that not enough runners focus on with their ankles, particularly after an ankle roll, um, but when that ankle heals after it gets rolled, it can heal in a more immobile position than previously. Uh, because of you know just the nature of the healing process you know it kind of wants to to put it your body wants that ankle in a more immobile position so that you don't get injured or re-injure it again uh, so working on extra mobility uh, is really critical as soon as you're not in any kind of pain so what what specifically are some good ankle mobility exercises that folks can do after an ankle roll once they're no longer in pain okay first we'll talk about a test that you can do just to see if your mobility is there and then we'll talk about a couple of really basic exercises they can be treated as rehab exercises or therapeutic exercises, prevention, um, which are both important for any yeah. athlete, right? So if it's not rehab, it's prehab. Yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all the same. Performance, it's, it, all, it all adds up to, to serving the same purpose, getting you better or getting, getting you better after an injury or getting you better before an injury. Uh, the one I like for mobility is, if you, know, if you put your foot about an inch or two from a wall and you flex at the ankle forward and try to get your knee to the wall without your heel coming off the ground, that is a really good mobility test to see how stiff we are through our ankle. How well can we dorsiflex on our own, but then how, how well can we dorsiflex when we're actually pushing through the knee forward. Um, and what you'll find is if your heel's coming up off the ground and you can't even get your knee back to your toes, that's a major mobility um, issue for, yeah. for a lot of runners in general. And like for people who've had injuries in the past, like working on getting past that lack of mobility is huge. Uh, so that's one way to test to see you know, is your left side less mobile than the right, so forth and so on. Uh, a couple of really basic ones, just for to work your stabilizers. Um, throw a towel on like a hardwood floor. You do the scrunchies. Have you ever done the scrunchies? Oh yeah. You, so you, you take your toes, these are your toes, and you're gonna scrunch up a towel with your toes until it's all the way underneath your foot. And then you pull it out again and you do it again. And you do that over and over. Five to 10 reps is a, is a good place to start. You're gonna see it seems really easy when you start, but after, after an injury, all the small stabilizing muscles around your ankle are going to get really fatigued and it's really, really annoying, but it's a great, it's a great test and it's a great exercise to do um, post trail runs, like the type of stuff we're doing here at camp. The other one with a, with a towel that you can do as well, these are really good simple drills because everybody has a towel on the floor, is plant your heel on the ground and you're going to put your toes on the towel and we're just going to internally and externally rotate on the ground. We're going to, we're going to try to get as so far your foot, your foot's going to go back and forth like this? Actually, we're going to go in Oh, like that. I see. Okay. Extra root right there. Back and forth right there. That's good as well, but a lot of times post injury it's gonna it's gonna stress a lot. I am I'm, I'm speaking to a lot of inverted ankle sprains, it's typically what happens. So when you have that you don't you don't want to test an injury um, by stretching out the parts that are injured. And that that happens a lot with injuries all over our body. Like you get a little tweak in your hammy, so you start stretching hamstrings. It's yeah. actually doing more damage than you. You, don't want, you usually don't want to stretch an, yeah. an injury. No, but yeah. your the inclination is, oh man, this hurts. Let me see if I can test it out right now. And the testing out is going to make it worse. More issues, yeah. So, so those are a couple basic ones. They're really for the really small muscles that help stabilize. Yeah. Uh, your traditional calf raises, and heel drops, and um, even ankle rotations, uh, yeah, both circles. both uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. I think. Uh, runners are always looking for like, I, you know, I need a great physical therapy exercise where some of the basics often work the best. 
And you shouldn't try to find the perfect exercise. You should find the exercises that are good enough and then do those consistently. Um, so as long, once you're not in pain anymore, if you can do uh, you know, the exercises with the towel, if you can do uh, ankle rotations, uh, and if you can do you know, tester mobility with uh, standing, was it about an inch away from a wall? But yeah, that's a good, good yeah. place to start. Those are really great ways to not only get an idea of what your limitations might be, but then to work on moving past those limitations. There's that. That's how you hopefully prevent and treat uh, ankle rolls. Now, one of the other things I'll say is that if you're a trail runner and and you know you, maybe you're new to trail running and you're worried about rolling your ankle, one of the things that you can do is simply run a lot of trails because that practice, that repetition, is the most specific prep that you can do for your goal of trail running. Yeah. And so you're going to learn to more nimbly navigate those rocks and roots and other obstacles. Uh, and really get a sense for how to move your body over those trails. Uh, and that's, that's honestly like one of the best ways to prevent a rolled ankle is just to be a better trail runner. And the only way you do that is by running a lot on trails. Yeah. And if you don't have access to trails, teach a lot of people how to use traditional agility ladders for trail running. Like I have, I have friends and clients that are in Florida that, that have zero access to the types of terrain that we have out here. And if we can just get people used to moving a little bit more laterally and, and used to that stimulus, then they're going to be better off. And I want to be clear that when I say trails, I don't necessarily mean a mountainous trail out here in Colorado. It's really any off-road running. So you can develop some more ankle strength and stability by running on grass. Um, you know, running on, say, a golf course is going to be less stressful than running on more uneven grass. But even just running on the median next to the sidewalk uh, where you live is a good way to get a similar type of stimulus that you would get if you were out here trail running. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, as long as you're running off-road, then I'm going to consider that trail running. All right, let's, let's end this with an amazing shot of where we are right now. Look at this. Look at that. Not everyone has this kind of a training venue for building up your ankle strength and stability. But if you do, this is the way to do it. Until next time, guys.